Uh, yeah, no, this is not a trailer, sorry. And I just wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone for all the nice comments and support on the first video. And um, say that, let's get started. So the first thing I've been working on is the selection system for the actual characters. And it works very good because you can actually just click a character, shift click to select another one, or just use the selection box to select all of them. And this is great because it's fully scalable, which means I can just add as many characters as I want and it will work just fine. So right now characters only walk to places, but I want to implement that when you send the character to a specific location, it will go, it will go running so it looks more intentional and I will also increment the speed of the character. So for example, this is them walking to a random location and when I send one of them to a specific location with the right click, it will start running and it will increment the speed and I think it looks quite tidy. By the way, do you notice something different here? Let me know in the comments. I have been also improving the construction system bef because before you will place the building and that will be it, the building will be constructed and finished it. Now it will have different stages, it will have some particular animation and it also have a timer. And this is something I will be able to use on all the buildings I make in the future, which is going to make my life much easier. Something that I have noticed is that right now you can place the building in any kind of surface, even if it's not flat. Um, for fixing this, I am doing a raycast on each one of the green uh, squares that I have on the, on the building itself that checks if there is any collision, so that's going to be checking as well if, there is any, if the ground is level or not, and it seems to be working very good. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the way this works. For the wall design, I didn't want to use a start putting rocks in random places, so I decided to get the iPad and do a quick sketch of how I want the place to be a little bit, the feel for it. And so this is what it came out at the end. There is going to be four different islands. There is going to be the one for the earth element, which is this creature here <laughs> that you already know. There is going to be one for fire, water and air. I have no idea how they are going to look or how I'm going to make them, but that's a problem for the future. Right now I'm going to just continue with this. As you can see, I'm not great at this either, but I'm getting there, I'm learning, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to look very good, to be honest. By the way, I'm using this pack by Nichrome, it's called Nature, and it's a great pack and I highly recommend it if you're looking for this kind of a style. I'll leave the link in the description. Next step will be painting all the kind of details like trees, rocks, grass, all this kind of decoration. And for that I'm using this asset called Prefab Painter. It's great, it's saving me a lot of time, especially because I cannot use the default tool from Unity to put trees because I want the trees to be interactable. The only thing that I found is that the trees are placed on the level of the terrain, so I just had to go after and just make them straight. I was gonna start designing the actual lakes and I thought, oh, there is one nearby where I live. That might be a good idea to get some inspiration, but it was very dry, so never mind. Let's go to Pinterest. <laughs> We're almost there, now we just need to add the last details like effects like butterflies, fireflies, some leaves falling off trees. I'm also adding some post-processing which is making a very nice change to it. It makes it feel much more warm and colorful, which is great. Before I show you the final result, I thought that the grass was a bit intrusive while building because it was getting on the way, so I have done that it just goes down while you're building and then it comes back up when you're done, and I think that was great. So there are some places where I don't want the user to be able to put some buildings, like for example waters and some other specific areas, so for that I just created a capsule and just check for collision and that works very good. I have also created a new building which is the Lumberjack House, which is quite simple but when I added color and textures and details, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave you with the result, let me know in the comments what you think, if you like it, and remember to subscribe, I hope to see you in the next one.